Well, hi kids, Pastor Al. Hope you're doing okay. Good to see you again this morning. Boy, I feel like I'm living inside my refrigerator. It's so cold outside. In fact, the funniest thing is that for the last few days, it's been warmer inside my refrigerator than it's been outside. I'm getting a little tired of this. Well, hey, uh, I want to talk to you about something this morning. And again, you know, like always, I'm going to show a little video. And um, video has a dog in it, just one dog this time. But I'm a sucker for these kind of videos because a dog is in trouble and someone goes to save him. And uh, that just kind of warms my heart. Um, and, and I thought this one was especially appropriate for, for this time of year and how cold it's been. So uh, let me show you this little video. I'll warn you that I kind of speed it up a little bit in a minute in the middle. So if it looks kind of fast, it is. But um, I think you'll I think you'll enjoy watching it just as much as I do. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Get on your belly. Get up here. Hey, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? You know, I hope you enjoy watching these videos as much as I do, but I always have a reason for showing them. And hopefully there's a little lesson in there, something for us to learn. And I want you to think about this. You know, if there was a dog uh, out in the ice, you'd want to save it. Now, remember, in this video, the people that go to save it are firemen that have the exact right equipment. So don't ever think if you see a dog out in the water or something like that, you should run right out to save them. You should call someone who is trained and equipped to do it. But, you know, in our heart, we'd love to do that, right? But, you know, when we have people around us that need saving, I don't know. That's a little harder. We're reading this book called Problems of Progress with the parents and grandparents. It's about a man who's on a journey. He, he has a heavy heart, and he comes to God, and God lifts his heart. And he decides that he's going to journey through life, uh, trying to get to the final destination, which is his eternal life with God. And all along the way, he has a lot of problems and a lot of troubles. But just as he's coming up on a particularly dangerous spot, a spot where they have these roaring lions he thinks they are going to kill him, he comes across a house, a palace that's, that's beautiful. And they help him to get past the lions. They get him inside, they chat with him, they feed him, they rest him, they have a great time. He winds up really being encouraged and learning a lot and being strengthened for his difficult journey ahead. Now, we know in the story that everything in that story means something. And the palace is beautiful in the story, 
is the church. The church that we come to on Sunday mornings, although church is not a building, it's a people. And it doesn't have to be here, it can be anywhere, but it's anywhere where God's people meet together. Think about that, and that's important, but not our main point today. And one of the main jobs of church is not just to have people who kind of agree on stuff get together and sing and have a good time and eat donuts after we're done. Really, the goal of the church, uh, one of the most important goals, is to be here to save people who are lost and who are in trouble and who need help. Some people have called the church a rescue station. And really, in a lot of respects, that's what it should be. We should be on the lookout for people who are lost and hurting and need God and be the ones that go out and grab them and bring them in and care for them and nurture them and set them on their journey towards God right. Now, I get it. Your point in life, you may be not going to do that a lot. But you know, even when you're coming to Sunday school, if you see a new kid sometimes who may not be very comfortable, maybe to church for the first time, just being their friend would be a great way for you to start doing that. I hope that as you go and realize, you'll realize that the church is is not like uh, here for like a spectator sport. You don't come here to be amused. You don't come here just for your own good. You come here to worship God and you come here to do God's work. And yeah, you get other benefits as well. But we're here for others, not just for ourselves. So as you grow older, think about the church not like a movie theater where you come and watch a show. But think of the church like an ambulance a place where you can go out and find people who are hurt and needy and need God and rescue them and bring them back to health, really bring them back to life and set them on their way. That's why we're here. That's why God has called us together. And as you grow up, I hope that you're going to be that person who really makes a difference in other people's lives and points them towards God. That would be so cool. So kids, thanks for spending a little time with me this morning. And we'll talk at you again next Sunday. Bye-bye.